Today I'm doing a paintless dent repair on this Mini Cooper S. This dent located on the left front portion of the hood is about the size of a tennis ball and in about three quarters of an inch. First I use a hood prop to place the dent in a good working position. This position will provide good working leverage. There are many PDR tools. For this dent, I plan to use a whale tail or this flat hook. Checking the underside, I'm looking to gain access to the back side of the dented area. This guard will allow a good point of leverage for the tool as well. I check to make sure that I can reach the entire portion of the dent with the tool. The use of a line board allows me to see the contours of the dent more clearly. I use a swing arm with a suction base to position the line board. In this way, I can see in real time what's happening to the dent as I apply force to the back side. As I apply force in a particular point, I can see the lines squeeze together at that point. I use caution to find the right amount of force in order to flex the metal without denting it from the inside. I'm working this dent with the first in, last out method. That means the direct point of impact is worked last. I start along the outside edge, working clockwise, and working my way around in a large spiral pattern leading towards the center. The first and most important key is to be patient while working the dent. If I work the dent too fast, I could cause dimples that can't be worked back down, or worse, crack the paint. I hold and maneuver the tool to provide the maximum amount of torque. This allows me to maintain precise control of the force necessary to lift the dent without overstretching the metal. The way I lift the dent is by using a series of very precise press and release actions with the tool. With each press and release, I flex the metal outward just beyond level with the rest of the surface. Each flex manipulates the metal, bringing it closer to its original position. I must flex the metal enough to move it slightly without damaging it by creating a peak in the metal. As I work my way around the dented area, the lines give me a good indication of my progress. A highly reflective shine is important to see the lines clearly. As I work closer towards the center, I can see that much of the dent has been lifted. The lines now highlight a few deeper portions in the center. At this point, I work each of the remaining dimples as a separate dent. First I work in a small circle around the middle of the dimple. When the dimple is small enough, the force can be applied directly to the middle.
Now I work my way around to each of the remaining low spots. Once the surface is near smooth, I reposition the line board. Next I use a knockdown tool with interchangeable tips. This is a medium sized nylon point. I use the handle of my hammer for more control while tapping the knockdown tool. This levels down some of the high spots remaining in the edges or that may have been caused by the dent tools. The nylon tip is strong enough to knock down the high spots without damaging the paint. I continue to work the spots using the lines as a guide to fine tune the surface. I use the whale tail again to fine tune a few of the low spots. The final key is knowing when to stop. If I overwork the dent area, it could produce an excessive orange peel effect. Once I've achieved a good repair, I can remove my line board and the hood prop. So in about an hour, I went from this to this. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.